I'm Paul Forty. This is Billy Daly. What up? You might have heard me refer to him as Billy D. Yes. Uh, this is a seat of pot, real reviews. And on today's show, the two of us are gonna go back and forth with a little bit of witty banter about the informant. I liked it. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Who was in it? Matt Damon. That's it? Matt Damon, Scott Bakula. Old school people might know him from Quantum Leap, one of the world's worst television shows with the highest ratings. I know I didn't get it then and I don't get it now. One of the best television shows is The Soup though. Joel McHale, very good point there, Billy D. Nice. Starring Joel McHale, dynamite character, mm -hmm. and uh, we love him in real life, if that's what you can call E! Entertainment News. He's good. Love them. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about The Informant. The informant. Um, Quick synopsis. It was decent, you know. It, yeah. You know, a lot of lot of dialogue, and uh, it was kind of the cross between Catch Me If You Can with uh, Leo and uh, Great movie, by the way. Yeah, that was a good movie. Well, good movie. Nice. Catch Me If You Can was Great a movie. dynamite. Great movie. Yeah, Steven. This Spielberg. was a good movie. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. But and then also like uh, The Beautiful Mind with uh, yes. Russell Crowe. Um, one of the big things that I got the difference between Catch Me If You Can, which was a great movie, by the way. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio as a criminal genius, mm. as opposed to Matt Damon. A little cuckoo, a little yeah. cuckoo. Being really <laughs> out there kind of took it for a whole nother loop. Because you didn't really, spoiler alert, you didn't realize that he was schizophrenic till almost the very end. You know what's not right is when um, little girls' panties are sold in a vending machine in Tokyo. It's just That's not just right. That's just not right. Yeah. That's just not right. This is the type of stuff that went through his head, yeah. right? Yeah. One of the things that I loved about Matt Damon's character that Billy's obviously referring to <laughs> is the internal dialogue that yeah. went on. And uh, this guy had some of the most crazy conversations with himself that you could ever possibly imagine having. Kind of like Matty has. Absolutely. Yeah. For those of you that watch this show, Matty W. Kelly from the Poopoo Movie Awards has these conversations all the time. He is handsome, though. Uh, well, I don't know about that, but I am privy to these conversations. <laughs> this movie definitely got beaten up by the real critics out there. And I throw that in air quotes because, you know, if you don't think we're real critics, you're real crazy. But this movie got beat up pretty bad by the real critics. And uh, with that being said, don't listen to them. Get yourself out there. Spend the money. It's definitely worth it. Don't listen to him. It was worth the 1050. It was good. I, I would even pay for his movie. Yeah, it was decent. So what's that? 21 even? 21 bucks. What can you do for 21 bucks? That's not even a whole round. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get yourself out there and go see the informant. I'm gonna give it three and a half fake wigs slash toupees okay. out of five. How many fake wigs slash toupees out of five? I'll do you give it two and a half. Really? That's out of it? five? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it was good. That's halfway there. Right, see you so next time. you give it halfway. Till next time, I'm your host slash co-host slash just mommy's timeout <laughs> guy bringing you the movie reviews. Mm -hmm.